This video is a lot shorter than the other video I posted on exactly the same topic. So if you don't have a lot of time or if you just want to go through your work just before a test or an exam, then this is the video for you. If you need to see the more detailed video, go down to the description where you will find the link. But if you are ready for this one, stay tuned. So let's start with the basics. There we have a steep slope and a gentle slope. And as we can see, whenever there's a steep slope, the contour lines are very closely packed together. But where there's a gentle slope, the contour lines are quite far apart. And here we can compare it with the cross-section effect. It's very simple, like I said, we are starting with the basics. So let's move on to a concave slope. A concave slope is where you will see the contour lines very far apart at the bottom of the hill or the, the mountain. And as you go closer to the top, you'll see that the contour lines are very closely packed together. There we can compare the two images and hopefully it gives you an idea of the 3D image you should have in your mind when you are studying contour maps. A convex slope on the other hand is where we have the contour lines close together at the bottom of the hill or at the foot of the hill or the mountain. As you go closer to the top you will see that the contour lines are wider and wider spread apart. And here you can see the two images compared. A hill is a very simple physical feature on a topographic map. I don't think there's anything to explain. There we can see the view from the top versus the view from the side. There's a lovely picture of a few hills. Our next physical feature is a valley. And what you need to pay attention to are these V-shaped contour lines. And they point to the source of the river. What you should also pay attention to is the fact that the contour lines are quite close together so the slope is quite steep and it is sometimes called a young valley because it's higher up and it's closer to the source of the river. So there is a picture of a valley but this is lower down so it's not the same example as the contour image we saw just a moment ago. So if you look at the contour image on your screen, you will see an example of a similar valley. It's not the same one as, as in the picture, but it just gives you an idea. And what you can see is that those contour lines are further apart than the, the image we saw earlier. But the main thing to keep in mind is how those contour lines are shaped like a V and how they point to the origin of the river. The next physical feature is called a mesa and it's almost like a hill with a flat top. And there's the view from the top compared with the view from the side. Our next physical feature is a plateau and this I've used the same picture as for the mesa but there's a big difference and it is that a plateau is spread over a vast area. We are talking hundreds and maybe even thousands of kilometers. So what you can see is that the bottom of the plateau is, is at the coast and as you move away from the coast inland you'll see that there's quite a sharp rise and the area where the land rises is called the escarpment and the top section is called the plateau. Next we have a volcano and what you should pay attention to are those hatch marks at the top. So we know that a volcano is basically a hill or a mountain with a hole in the top. So this contour line is 140 meters. If the contour interval is 20 meters, then the next contour line is 160 meters. But this line with the hatch marks is the same height as the one on the outside. So if this contour line is 160 meters, then this one in the middle is also 160 meters. Now it's possible to have another uh, contour line in the middle also with hatch marks, and that one would then be 140 meters. And we all know more or less what it will look like from the side, so I'm, I'm not even gonna show you the view from the side. Here we can see spurs in the picture. A spur is something that I always think of as a toe-like projection or thick paint flowing out towards the bottom of the mountain.
Next we have a depression. This is basically a hole in the ground and it is sometimes where you find an excavation site or something like a sinkhole. Our next physical feature is a ridge and it's basically a finger like projection pointing in a certain direction and it's this area over here on the left side of your screen you'll see a picture of a ridge obviously not a picture of the contour image just it's just to give you an idea and this particular ridge has very steep slopes now we're moving on to a saddle and a saddle is a little dip in between two peaks or two higher lying areas there you can see the view from the side and the saddle is this dip in the middle a cliff is where we have a vertical drop so that's where the contour lines touch so if we look at this example you'll see that's the escarpment and there we see two or three of the contour lines touching and this is what we call a sea cliff so that's a vertical drop straight into the ocean and there we can see a waterfall as you can see the contour lines pointing to the source of the river it's flowing in this direction and there's a waterfall over there that's all for today thanks for watching feel free to go down to the description where you'll find quite a few links to some of my other videos also feel free to like share subscribe and comment See you next time. Goodbye.